Hey everyone, I'm Josh and I'm a Solutions Architect with ThreatScape's award-winning Microsoft Security Practice. Today we'll be looking at some tips around the Defender Suite, in particular, the Safe Documents feature. The feature protects users opening malicious documents through Microsoft 365 apps for enterprise. Documents opening in Protected View or Application Guard will be scanned by the Defender for endpoint backend servers to determine if the file is safe or not before the users are allowed to exit from the Protected View. So without further ado, let's get to it. In order to make use of the Safe Documents feature, you must have an E5 subscription as this is not part of the Defender for Office 365 plans. To enable this, we start in the Microsoft 365 Defender portal. So under Email and Collaboration, we go to Policies and Rules, Threat Policies, Safe Attachments, and then click on Global Settings. Once we're here, there's a toggle here for Turn on Safe Documents for Office clients. We turn this on, that will enable it 10 wide. Below that, you can also see there is a toggle to allow users to click through Protected View. And this is even when Microsoft determines a file to be malicious. Of course, this is recommended to remain off. Now that we've configured this, we can go on to the demonstration. In our demonstration, we have three files downloaded. One is a sample file provided by Microsoft and will be detected as malicious. And as it's malicious, we won't be able to click through the Protected View. Another is a normal file that I created, which has previously been scanned and detected as not malicious. In this scenario, we'll have an option to enable editing. And the last file is a brand new file that Safe Documents hasn't seen before. So it needs to be scanned first before Microsoft will either give us an option to enable editing or warn us that it's malicious. So we'll start off with a malicious document. And as you can see, it's been verified by Microsoft as malicious, so we're unable to click through the protected view. As you can see that at the top of the banner here. Moving on to the not malicious document. And in this example, you can see protected view is in place, but it allows us to enable editing as Microsoft has deemed the file to not be a threat, as you can see from up here. Before our next example, I just want to direct you to the top bar where it says protected view as well and note that before it's scanned, you'll be able to see that Microsoft is verifying the file. So we'll just open that just now. So as you can see, we don't have an option to enable editing just yet and it has been verified. And then as you can see, once verified, no threats have been found. We're in able to enable editing and as you can see we can enable editing on that. So as you've seen this is quite a useful feature and gives you more peace of mind that even if an office file makes it past your other safeguards in your environment the safe documents will scan and verify these files before they can be trusted by a user. Now that you've seen it why don't you have a look at the documentation and consider testing it out.